them. He reminded them of Jacob. Praise the Lord. Reminded them of the mighty work that Jacob had to do. The tribe had to talk, tribe had to come out of Jacob. Praise the Lord. He reminded them. Praise the Lord's things. God has to remind us sometimes. We have to remember where God is taking us from. I tell you about my baptism. You remember your baptism. When you lift up your hands. And you said, Lord, thy bones are upon me. I am going to serve you until death. We receive the Holy Ghost. You remember that time? You remember that time? It was so sweet. It was so wonderful. Praise the Lord. We had the victory over sin. We rebuke and we discharge in the name of Jesus. Because the Holy Ghost gave us our first yes. so we could speak. Praise the Lord. All glory be to God. Do you remember? Do you remember? Lord Jesus. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? That is the inheritance. Praise the Lord. Lord he reminded them. Joshua reminded them of what the Lord has done. And then he said in verse 15, he said, if God be God, yes, we have got to make a decision. We have got to make a decision. We cannot be half and half. Time is running out. If I was half and half last year, Lord, it was better not too bad. But time is getting short now. That's right. There just is not time for us to be half an hour. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Then he said, as for me and my house. As for me and my house. But the verse I would like to speak from. Verse 17. Yes. For the Lord our God. He is it. Amen. Read it for me, please, man. For the Lord. Amen. He is is that brought us out and our fathers out of the land of Egypt yes. and from the house of bondage, and which did those great signs in our sight and preserved us of the Lord. And preserved us as all in our faith. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We were in bondage. I, I've reminded you of what Joshua reminded the children of Israel. I'd like to come home now. I'd like to come home. As somebody said this morning, they, they, they didn't meet Moses but they met Bishop Dunn. They met these great men of God. I want us to come home now. Praise the Lord. We was in bondage. We was in bondage. Wrapped up, tied up in sin. Want to do good and could not do good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sin was our master. It said jump and I jump. Praise the Lord. He controlled me. But God came. He praised the Lord. He sent the preacher. And the preacher came. And he preached. And he preached. And he preached. He told me about the love of God. He told me about the mercies of God. He told me about hell. He told me about heaven. I was convicted. I repented of my sin. I fell down before him. And I confess my sins. I said, Lord, have mercy upon me, Lord. Have mercy upon me, Lord. And he had mercy. Praise God. He said, would you like to be baptized? I want to be baptized. There is no other way. I want to be baptized. Give him a shout out of the Praise the Lord. Fill with the Holy Ghost. Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Yes, sir. Sometimes it was not easy way. 
way. That's right. Sometimes it was not good way. Sometimes, as Isaiah said, we have to go through the fire. Praise the Lord. Preserve me in the fire. But sometimes it had to be in the fire. But through the fire, but it did not burn me. Because God was preserving me. Praise the Lord. Through the fire sometimes. But the flood did not hold the flood because God was with me. He preserved us. I know that God has preserved us. There is an inheritance. There is an inheritance. The babies are crying. The children are crying. We have got to preserve the inheritance. Yes. You might say to me, you might say to me, Sister Blossom, what is the inheritance? The doctrine. The doctrine, the teaching of the doctrine, we have got to preserve it. So my daughter is 11 years old. I'm teaching her about God. I'm teaching her about the oneness. That is an inheritance. Some children are born in Jewish faith. Some children are born where they worship and believe in three God. But my children are not blessed because they're born in this church where we know there is but one God. Praise the Lord. That is an inheritance. I remembered. Yes. I remember myself. Praise the Lord. Sometimes it's good to talk about yourself and what God has done for you. I remembered. I can think of my grandmother. She had an inheritance. She passed it on to the next generation. Bishop Dunn? Yes. She passed it on to your generation. Praise the Lord. But you did not waste it. Right. You did not waste it. You got in a place on my side. Praise God. And you came to this country. Yes. Praise the Lord. You brought the inheritance yeah, with you. The inheritance was love. Yeah, it was yeah. the oneness. Yeah, it was redemption in the blood of Jesus. In the redemption was yes, God, Lord. the Holy Ghost. Yes, in the redemption was all that I need to take me to heaven. You did not keep it to yourself, yeah. sir. You had to pass it on. You had to preserve yes, it. Yes. My Jesus, help me now. Uh -huh. You have to preserve it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When we are going through the fire, yeah, we have got to preserve it. When we are going through hard times, got to preserve when it. When we are going through hard times, it's my we have got to preserve it. The next generation is waiting. What we believe. The next generation is waiting. The next generation waiting for us. Have you started, yes. Sister Beverly? Have you started to hand down the inheritance? Every mother in this house, young mother, you have got to hand it down. You have got to start handing down the inheritance. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is important that we hand down the inheritance. After we have handed down the inheritance, somebody said last night, we can't get in the schools, but the children can get in the schools. If we hand down the inheritance to them, they're going to keep it in the school. They're going to preach. Praise God. They're going to save all the children from drugs. They're going to save all the children from abusing themselves. We need to pass it down. We need to preserve it, but we can pass it down. And when it comes to the doctrine, Preserve me and unchange. When it comes to the doctrine, I've got to pass it down like that. I have got to pass it down like that. Because if I dilute it, by the time my grandchildren come, what will they have? What will they have? Praise the Lord. But we have got to use it as it is. Pass it down as it is. In, in Hebrews, I read, I'm winding up, in, I live in Bristol as well. In Hebrews, 
We read about the eternal inheritance. I told you that we have responsibility to our children regarding the natural inheritance. When I say natural, I'm talking about the doctrine, the teaching of this church to pass on to our children. But you know, brethren, why I'm here tonight? Why are we here tonight? Because there is an inherit eternal inheritance. There is an eternal inheritance. We talk about when we receive the Holy Ghost. When we receive the Holy Ghost, we receive power. Praise the Lord. We receive power. Praise God. Hell the talk about his wife who is departed. But that's what it's all about. It is all about that when we receive the Holy Ghost, Preserving 